Okay, where we left off was I was balancing the cargo on the two ships. I now have the damaged Nojo Sentinel 14. And we need to search for, for antimatter traces with the Starship Scanner because it's attuned to antimatter. So I press C. Let's try taking off. It says atmospheric interference detected. Perform planetary scan from orbit. By the way, this ship to repair will take 200 oxygen, 160 dioxide, 1,285 chromatic metal, which is 2,570 copper, 22 wiring loops, 450 paraffinium. I'll continue the list of what it's going to take to repair this thing later. S to slow down. Much smoother operation than the other ship. I'm trying to remember, I think usually it's an abandoned building that we get the antimatter from, or it may be a Hey, let's, uh... Here. Let's see if there's landing. Eat a land. I'm pretty sure this would be the spot. Yep, that's the spot. There's a cave there. We can collect some cobalt for ionized batteries. And they'll probably have some silver or gold. Remember, we're trying to make 2,500,000 in an honest way. I don't have that many inventory slots with all the damage parts on the spaceship. I'm carrying several items. I have one inventory slot left. Deserted terminal. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting. Success. Terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function as I touch the input panel. The alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. 
The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. So we need this in order to know how to make antimatter. Take blueprint and read law. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. Seven of those. All right, we learned the antimatter formula. 25 chromatic metal, 20 condensed carbon. Now, is there anything else in here? All right, it wants me to craft, and these usually give you one reputation. You know, one standing. These eggs, if I remember correctly, are worth a good amount. You have to craft a warp cell. With this quest we just did, we got the... It was in Awakenings. We followed the signal. Craft... We got the... In the old building, we got the directions to build the warp fuel. That will go in the stack with the ferrite dust, so that will save us in the slot. slot. Um, also, we can open up some slots with chromatic metal. Let's move the photon cannon. You see my damage is 337. Now it's 353. But I have no more chromatic metal. But that opens up a slot here. Hyperdrive refueled launch into space to test interstellar systems. W to launch. Okay, the galaxy map offers a wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Brown, browse nearby systems or available routes to choose your next destination. In space, access the galaxy map from the quick menu, that's X. Move along specific paths or browse and choose your own route. Warping requires warp fuel in your hyperdrive. Some systems require hyperdrive upgrades to access. 
Okay. So, X, arrow to the right, F to select. Um, I right click to go out of that. I'm just looking around. From what I understand, the best planets are in F and G systems, with the numbers being around, I don't know, four, five, and six next to the thing. go here. G4 water. This is like the effect in Doctor Who. If you ever watch that show, when the TARDIS warps, it looks something like this. to scan. I like to scan the planets to see what I got in the system. Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching. Searching. Obtain. Destination in 16... 16, 16, 16, 1, 6, 16, K, L, S. Accept new guidance. Accept. Guidance accepted. Plotting round. Paradise Moon. Okay, that's awesome. That would be a good spot to go. Uh, first, let's go to the space station, though. Uh, you see the... You point... that. Notice the... Two, three, four, five... So what is that, a hexagon? Notice the hexagon is where the entrance is. I didn't forget about that multi-tool in the other star system. Get an exosuit upgrade. Upgrade. Definitely need inventory slots. Uh, I'll check the multi-tool real quick. A class, not bad. The multi tool merchant. He has a scanner module, so that's two places I can get scanner modules at. So I was telling you about what how, what I need to repair this ship. 22 wiring looms, 450 paraffinium, 105 pugnium, 175 platinum, 180 pyrite, 225 phosphorus, 9 metal plates, 12 antimatter, 
225 activated copper, 500 pure ferrite, 375 gold, 250 magnetized ferrite, and 20 chlorine. The biggest thing is the 1,285 chromatic metal, which is like 2,570 copper, and probably the 22 wiring loops to repair this ship fully. planet which means it shouldn't cause any damage. Uh, yeah, it's a small planet. It's a moon. Let's see. We're in Sitoger, is that the name? What we'll call this Euclid, because that's the universe we're in. Hilbert's the next one. Paradise. Seven fauna to get 1750 nanites, which would be enough. Here I can see the column. That is probably where I need to go. Journey milestone, ambulatory, travel, 15KS. That means. Okay, the knowledge stones. There's usually three of them at these things. Journey milestone accomplished. Comprehended. That's three stars. Learn ten words. Remember, I'll need these milestones later to do the Atlas Quest. Okay, I got the three knowledge stones. Part of the anomaly. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? It is traveler. Traveler Theophilus. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? It is last. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient. And I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the crimson eye? 
Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert, alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. And I get a warp cell. A free warp cell. I'll take whatever free warp cells I can get. Sentinel. That tells me that that building is probably either a maintenance facility or a storage, uh, one of, what are they, municipal, thing, or like uh, where they hold, like there's four tubes holding different valuable things in there. Those are sentinels. If you mine in front of them, uh, they'll eventually go hostile. And if you kill them, more come. Silver, nitrogen, lemium, perox. I bet you lemium's worth a lot. Let's do this. Let's summon the ship so I have it nearby. Make a shield. Use the wiring. Drop the Facium onto the starship. That's Lemium. I need a boat caster. How much chromatic metal do I have?
Alright, I'm gonna go mine for copper. And then we're gonna try the bolt caster in the next episode to get the lemon.